Good morning, everyone. Dr. Vicki here, speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center. Today is Wednesday, the 14th of August, and the moon is in Sagittarius. <clears throat> As I said yesterday, Sagittarius is a, is a big picture energy. It tends to be very optimistic in its nature. Um, today we have... Um, an aspect that happens every two years, and that is a conjunction of Mars and Jupiter. Mars has been very active. <laughs> this, well, Mars is always very active. But if we remember uh, back in July, Mars made a conjunction to Uranus, and that was the start of a big shift and a big change, which included um, an assassination attempt on the 45th president, and the 46th president stepping down eventually from um, the nomination. So it, and of course, that particular aspect was very active in the charts of both those gentlemen, along with the chart of Kamala Harris and the chart of Nancy Pelosi, all people who were sort of involved uh, one way or another in that whole thing, right? Eventually, I mean, not that Kamala was involved in that she really had <clears throat> anything to do with uh, that the pressure on Biden, but she ended up being um, where that that whole thing ended, right over that where that where eventually uh, something landed from that experience. Now <clears throat> today we have a conjunction between Mars and Jupiter. Now um, Jupiter is an expansive energy. It's very different. Than, um, than Uranus. Uranus is sudden, unexpected, never see it coming. And <clears throat> Jupiter doesn't really have that energy. Jupiter is more about an expansion uh, of information to a certain extent, knowledge, um, an expansion of our understanding. And the thing is, is that this conjunction that happens today at 1122, can't make this stuff up, here on the East Coast, 10.22 a.m. Central, 9.22 Mountain, and 8.22 Pacific. Don't ask me about Hawaiian time. <laughs> Can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> anyway, that's way too much math in my head. But anyway, it happens today. <clears throat> now, of course, it's happening in the sign of Gemini. And uh, Gemini, of course, is about uh, information. So there can be a, uh, a bursting forth of information, new information. Um, and it is actually, um, and then, of course, m more information, more discussion, more talking, more communication. And yet the planet of communication, Mercury, at the time of the conjunction anyway, is in Virgo and is retrograde. By the end of the day, Mercury retrogrades back into Leo. So the Mercury retrograde shifts into a new energy from Virgo. Double check, double check, double check all your, your uh, information, right? Very Virgo, very perfecting to Leo, which can be rather bombastic. And it is possible that when uh, things said when uh, when Mercury was in Leo, um, at the time Mercury was in Leo, will have to be re-looked at, re-seen. So you could look back and, uh, and see that. But this conjunction that happens um, is at 17 degrees of... Um, 17 degrees of... Um, Gemini. And what's significant about that is that is the degree of Donald Trump's Uranus. He has Uranus at 17 degrees of Gemini. And then, of course, he has the North Node there at 20 and his Sun at about 22. So this conjunction is activating um, uh, Donald Trump's Uranus and Uranus again here's that Uranian energy unexpected right so it's very possible 
that some more unexpected information is going to come out about Trump or from Trump. Um, this conjunction also squares uh, Kamala Harris's Venus Pluto Uranus conjunction that she has in Virgo. Uh, it is still um, it, it's 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 occurring close, uh, getting closer to her ascendant, um, but it's going to affect both of them. That that's what I'm trying to say here is is it it, it affects both of them in some way. So, not necessarily negative for Kamala, uh, but we will, of course, she'll be part of whatever comes out at this time. And this could be also connected to um, the, uh, the the X interview that he did with um, with Elon Musk, which was uh, the little bit that I heard of it was nuts, and he was slurring his speech, which he's not a drinker, but I don't know. It it almost sounded like the man had a had a stroke. So, you know, who knows? Maybe he's not in the best of states right now. He's very upset about crowd size. Um, he's going to lose on that because people are excited about Kamala and Tim and people are tired of nine years of his me, 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 poor me, poor me. It's everybody else's fault. Everybody is a criminal. All that projection. He just seems to relish. I mean, every time he says something about the Democrats or every time he says something about uh, Biden or how it's all him. It's all he there, the crime family, all this other stuff. It's like, are you looking in the mirror? And of course he's looking in the mirror because that's the only place he looks. He has no, he really in a way, has no self-awareness, weirdly enough, because all he talks about is himself. And whenever he sees a negative, it, it's him. So he's looking in the mirror and talking to himself and saying, you're a criminal. You're this, you're that, you're stupid, you're ridiculous, you're old, you're doddering, you're... That's all it is. I mean, come on, we know this, right? Now, we know this, you and me, because... You know, wish Matt. But uh, now maybe the world gets to see it. So that's the energy. But that energy, that Mars, uh, Jupiter energy, can make us go to extremes. Say things, maybe, to extremes. That is something you want to avoid. Because in two days, Mars is going to come up in a square to Saturn, the lawmaker. So things that are said now, you will be held responsible for. Things that are done now will be, will be held, you'll be stopped in some way. And then next week, on, at the day of the first, um, um, the first day of the DNC, we have a full moon, um, square Uranus, and we have Jupiter now make that square to Saturn, which is part of a, a cycle that started back in 2020, December of 2020, back when, right after, right, Trump lost his first election. So um, his, his, his second bid for president. Yeah, I want to say that. Uh, <clears throat> so all of that all wrapped up in a nice little bow or in a giant bow or in something. So what am I saying? I'm making a lot of statements but what does it really mean? It really means that there's information coming out. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to continue. The, this, this, <laughs> this ride that we're on, Magic Mountain maybe, or the cyclone, uh, <laughs> the cyclone in uh, Coney Island, up and down and up and down and thrilling and, and like, oh, it was, how far up are we going up and down and up? All of that continues, 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 continues. And we ain't getting off this ride, guys, until next year. You know, n not far into next year. So if you're, so you can do one of two things. You can be terrified 
excited, terrified, etc., terrified, or just enjoy the ride and not and know that that's what it is. Know that this is this is we are we are surfing the waves of change, and the waves of change are big. They're tsunamis. I choose to surf the blue wave tsunami, which is exactly what you know part of this wave is. And at some point, it's going to come to the shore. Things are going to settle down. There is going to be quite a bit of debris. And it's going to be up to us to clean the, clean the beach and bring back some sense of, I don't know, I wouldn't necessarily normal say normalcy because I think there's a new normal. But uh, I think that we're going to perhaps feel like we have more of a stake when this is all over. And I think that's really what this is all about. All right, guys, have yourself a wonderful day. Like and subscribe if you're not. Um, Ona and I will be on Mystic Sisters Live this, this week. It's Saturday night, 7, um, 7 Eastern, 6 Central. We usually do it on Friday nights, but Ona has to work Friday night. So we are, uh, we are getting to it. Uh, we're also going to be doing a moonshine episode uh, probably Saturday. Uh, at some point, maybe Saturday afternoon, but that'll be on Ona's channel and she makes the ultimate decision on when we're going to do that. Uh, and we're talking about this full moon on, um, um, on Monday, the first day of the DNC in Chicago, where Ona lives. Uh, so <laughs> excitement ahead, guys, excitement ahead. Have yourself a great day. I'll see you again tomorrow. Much love to you all. Where's Charlie? He's inside eating. That's where he is. He's probably, probably at the door waiting for me to let him out again. He eats. He has a few bites. He runs outside. Then he wants to come back in. He has a few more bites. You know, that kind of thing. But huh, such is the life of a childless cat lady. Go Kamala! Love you all. Namaste.